Hey guys, Time with Elevation every weekend here. Thanks for stopping back by. If you haven't noticed already, based on the thumbnail, we've added a new fat bike to the family. Only this one is not mine. It is actually my brother's. It is a 2020 Surly Wednesday in the all natural grape, a brand new color. You can actually follow my brother on Instagram at Dirt Every Weekend. I'll link that down below. So if you follow my channel for any length of time, you know that I have two Surly fat bikes. I have a 2014 Surly Pugsley and a 2020 Surly ice cream truck and prickly pear. I just wanna take the opportunity to show off this brand new Surly Wednesday a little bit. Uh, the new all natural grape color is killer. And as a fat bike fan, I just wanna take the opportunity to do a quick overview of the bike. So in Surly's line, uh, you have the, the Pugsley on one end, which is uh, listed in the touring category. It's the bike that kind of started it all. Um, on the other end, in the trail category, uh, you have the Surly Ice Cream Truck, which has the biggest tires of any fat bike uh, that Surly currently uh, sells, and it can go up to five inches. And then right in the middle, you have the Surly Wednesday, hence the name. Um, it's kind of the most versatile fat bike in the line, uh, and it kind of covers all the bases. Uh, it kind of blends the touring and bikepacking versatility of the Pugsley, but it has a little more of the trail pedigree that the uh, ice cream truck has as far as uh, some of the uh, as far as the geometry of the bike being a little more trail oriented than the Pugsley is certainly not maybe not quite as much as the ice cream truck but it kind of blends both into a kind of a, a do it all all around versatile package the Wednesday comes with tires that are on the smaller side for a fat bike at 3.8 inches um, but you can go up to 4.6 inches which is uh, more than enough for basically all types of terrain um, I actually personally think a set of 4.3 inch Ednes would be uh, perfect for this bike. Having run uh, 4.8s on my ice cream truck and recently upgraded the 4.3s on my Pugsley, I think it'd be a good uh, middle ground uh, as the bike is kind of designed to do it all. So as I did mention, it does have all the brazons and all the options for bike packing, uh, kind of like the, the Pugsley has and the ice cream truck too, but it's really designed to kind of be a jack of all trades and a great all around bike. The other benefit of the bike is it's a little more value minded. So it comes in at about $1,675, uh, that's US dollars. Uh, which is a few hundred dollars cheaper than either the Pugsley or the ice cream truck, but you still get all the Surly pedigree uh, as far as you know the, the quality steel frame, the durability, uh, the good comprehensive build uh, on the on the parts side of things. Uh, it's it's a great all-round package for for the money, and again, it's probably the bike. Uh, that is most dialed for most people. So for me, because I already own a Pugsley and an ice cream truck, uh, it would be a little bit redundant for me to actually own one, uh, but I'm anxious to get out and ride the bike and see how it feels, uh, see if it really does uh, equally blend both or if it leans more towards one or the other. Um, I kind of think it'll probably be closer to the ice cream truck with just with smaller tires, but um, we still need to get out and do some more comprehensive testing of it. Like the ice cream truck, the Wednesday does support a dropper seat post. Um, it is able to be run with a front suspension, uh, neither of which apply to the Pugsley. Um, and it does have through axles front and back. It has the same 150 millimeter wide uh, front uh, hub spacing that the ice cream truck has. It is a narrower 177 millimeter spacing in the rear. Uh, the ice cream truck's 197. Uh, but again, it is, uh, you know, more of a, a standard spacing front and back with through axles. Whereas again, the Pugs is kind of its own thing as far as uh, the spacing it has. And I do have a video on that, which I will also link below if you're curious on how that differs. As I mentioned on the geometry, uh, the, the ice cream truck has about a 68 degree head angle and the uh, Wednesday is about 69 degrees. So not drastically different, but slightly less aggressive. Uh, but again, it's kind of designed to kind of cover all the bases and I think it'll do a good job doing that. So again, this video is just a real quick look uh, just to give you an opportunity to see the bike, see the color, get, get familiar with it if you're not familiar with it. It really is kind of the bike I think for most people, if you could only pick one fat bike out of the Surly lineup, it would probably be the one I would recommend to most people because it can kind of cover all the bases and do it all. So if you enjoyed seeing this quick look video at all, please drop a like down below. If you have any questions or comments, please drop those down below. Um, I certainly respond to all my comments and if you're interested in seeing more of this bike and more comparisons, contrasts, reviews, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel. It really helps out the channel. And uh, thanks a lot and have a great day.